So now that you've learned a couple of the rules of composition and how to find the right perspective, the next thing is to really learn about background and how background plays a major role in your photography. So as you go to set up your photo and you're sort of looking around your space, pay attention to what your background is. And not just, oh, do I like the color green or do I like that that looks out of focus, but how does that add to your photo? How does that say something about your subject? Maybe it's the classic photo of the woman in the red dress in a big urban city. You know, it's not about the urban city, but it's the fact that she's in a red dress and she pops out so well from that background. It's the same as putting her in the forest. The colors are different. The contrast of it makes her really stand out. And maybe you don't want her to stand out. Maybe you want her in a green dress to sort of meld in with the rest of the landscape. But this is really knowing your background, knowing what you're putting in your photo, but knowing that the background is a major player in your photo. It, it's a subject in itself. It shows what are you trying to say? What is your main subject? And what is your secondary subject? What is your background saying about your subject? Another thing I always look for when taking photos is the antlers, or is there something coming out of my subject that just looks a little strange? And sometimes you won't even notice when shooting the photo, but you know, maybe there's a tree in the background and it, it happens to be coming right out of the person's head and it's really distracting once you're looking at your photos, but sometimes you miss it, sometimes you're caught up in the moment. So be sure to be sort of looking around, you know, what is actually behind your subject and how does it mesh and how does it meld with your, your subject. So remember, the background is a major player in your photography and it's really a secondary subject to your main subject. And if you want another example of this, you know, always think about model shoots. They put them behind white backdrops and that's really to make them f make you focus on the model. But if you're looking at, you know, a landscape, if you're trying to use your environment, really find textures, find something more interesting in your background that allows you to, you know, focus your audience on the subject that you want or use that background. Make that, that background another subject in your photo and have it elaborate the story that you're trying to tell.